Yeah, I'm recording. Welcome, folks. All right. We're getting introduced right now, me. so hang Who in the there. Who's calling? Who the Somebody's rest? fucking calling me. Why? Who's I'll, calling? I'll tell you. Somebody's calling. It's it's it, it's Sebastian's brother, Jordan. No way. I don't see anyone. Are we on the air? I don't get it. Why is it doing that? I don't know, but are we on the air? Because <laughs> we're court recorded. There. What the hell was that all about? I don't know, man. What can are you, you doing? Can you hear me now? I can, can hear you, you now. Perfect. Okay. All right. All right. I don't know what the hell happened there. Something was either. going on. I don't know. Well, anyways, anyways, welcome to the show. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, never here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta gotta do this. It won't do it. What Son are you of a bitch. I'm trying to. I I downloaded I downloaded some sound effects, but it's not working. I don't understand. Oh, hey! And if you are physically challenged with the internet, you can download this app right now called Jitterbug. Yeah, everything that I downloaded from my stuff won't work in here. Oh. I don't get it. I don't get it. That that's pretty amazing, though, dude. Yeah, it just doesn't work. I don't understand it. I don't get it. So how's everybody doing? I'm doing good. How you doing, man? I'm doing, man. Oh, I'm not in the middle of the screen. Hold on. Let me get back. Somebody like his his vertigo gets all fucked up if I'm not, you know, middle. It's yeah. Good. yeah. You're, good. You're good. There, You're good. there. Now I'm in the middle. Now are I'm you, in the middle. Steve. But are you? Yeah. The huh? Are you the pickle? I am the pickle in the middle. What yeah. is it with uh, you? Ever see that tradition <clears throat> in German homes? I had a pickle in the <clears throat> tree. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> one more. That one. <laughs> one more, God. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Did you ever? They can't see this, you know. They can't <laughs> see this. We only we can see this. I know it. I yeah, know it. Be able all to right, see all it right. On the on the playback of the um the pod video podcast, which is the same podcast with just pictures. Look at us. We're all gonna light cigarettes, aren't we? Some slave motherfuckers, ain't no. we? We are yeah. slaves to the cigarette. Slave to the grind, man. Like, what, is, yeah. what do you smoke? This is what I smoke. Never, never quitters. That's what we I are. Smoke, never quitters. I smoke L and M light. I smoke Seneca. I smoke denim. Denim. For the man with the blue jeans. Denim. Denim. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. So I I had a fun uh, time. I went to the Zippo. Hey, museum. hey, hey, hey. Uh -oh. I paid $2.50 a pack. Yeah. Can't beat How that with a hammer. I paid $2 a pack. I pay almost $5 a pack now. But uh, these are these are native cigarettes. Oh well, these are these are uh, Chinese. Yeah, these are from the uh, Indian reservation. That uh, actually, I, the, the these drug, are underground. Yeah. No, no, they're not. You can get them online all day long. Yeah, I can get yeah, but, them all day. Yeah, but they're 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 from a different country. That's true. They're from yeah. Germany. Germany. They're Germany. probably Germany. Yeah, they're not Jap or Chinese cigarettes are probably horrible. I've had their. Um, like the rolling papers, I've ordered that. And well, this uh, is an American yeah. blend, if if you can, and it's it, they're made in they're made in Germany, so they get tobacco from here. Yeah, you know what they do is when the the janitor at R.J. Reynolds uh, sweeps right. up all the tobacco, they send yeah. it, to Germany, and then but yeah, they're pretty good. They're like a Marlboro. So what the fuck? And I'm only paying two dollars and fifty cent, twenty five a carton. Yeah, it's that's not bad. bad. It's not bad. I pay. No, actually, mine probably about twenty five. So we probably pay about the same amount. 
but they're just tax free. But now if I went to buy a pack of cigarettes that wasn't on the native uh, reservation, it would cost pack me. Of Marlboros? Yeah, it cost me about eleven dollars. Oh uh, uh, yeah, see, see, that's insane. That's see, that's nuts. Mm -hmm. That's nuts. And they tell yeah. you that money goes for research. Fuck you. Right. Don't research. lie to me. Don't lie to me. That's to pay the lawyers off. That's all that is. Yeah, that's it. Not only that, it it is to do. You know, the cancer research stuff we have here in Buffalo. One of the biggest cancer research places ever. It's called Roswell Park. Uh, actually, right. John Wayne. John Wayne uh, was getting treatment there. So yeah. it, it's pretty big. But we all know how that turned out. <laughs> right, right. And it keeps getting bigger by by the year. So you know what's going on here you got all these research plants and all this stuff for what have you cancer still the same as it was 25 30 years ago what what have we you know you're still gonna die you know what no. i mean it's like horrible that we haven't made any advancement like we should have now with uh aids and shit they're saying that's almost curable now yeah so where's the cancer cure there is no cure for cancer they already well, had it. Yeah, they, they already had help it. With, it was, pharmaceutical it was supposed to help with medical on, bring it on heart, heart disease and heart heart attacks. It was supposed yeah, to help yeah. on that. Yeah, right. But whatever. Did it they, help got out? For, they got a cure for cancer already. It's already out there. The fucking the pharmaceutical companies won't let it come out. It's just like this coronavirus. You know, the common cold is a coronavirus. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. No, so, they're gonna, they're gonna, so they're going to give you the fucking Corona shot. I better not catch a cold for another fucking year. Yeah. I better not even catch the sniffles. Forever. This fucking thing is forever. I ought to be immune to the yeah. common cold. I don't want. Fucking, I think yeah, you're fixing that's... going out of their minds. I want my hemorrhoids. You, well, you might as well bet on a midget to win the uh, swim team well, Olympics. I want a cure for hemorrhoids too, Guido. Fair I want enough. a cure for him. Yeah, they're the nuts. Way, they're not midgets. They're vertically challenged individuals. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but have them, have them, have them win the swim team competition in the in the Olympics. <laughs> that ain't gonna get happen. The, get the gold medal. The see? baby stroke. That ain't gonna happen. The baby no stroke. Way. The baby stroke. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the the little people Olympics. Or a dude chick playing uh, 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 major league, maybe major league baseball. <laughs> or a chick dude. How come it's always the the uh, the changed gender folks? Okay, it's always the male to female that wants to compete in women's sports. It's never the female that wants to be a male. The dyke doesn't want to play baseball, and right. Don't don't say that word. <laughs> okay, the, the the lesbian. Okay, yeah. is that <laughs> the les the lesbian? Yeah, yeah. The lesbian. Hello. The lady in comfortable shoes. The lady in comfortable shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Never did understand that word, Dyke. Is it some old bitchy woman you sticking stick, her finger? You stick don't go finger. in there. You got to stick your finger in the hole in the dyke. Yeah. In the diet, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't even know that word either. Why, you know, like I understand the word butch, where that came from, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you're right, dyke, and I don't like that word anyways. It just sounds. Hey, hey, the guy, the guy can be gay and play baseball, but he can't be a, 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 a growing tits and and getting a sex change. <laughs> well, you know. Tits, tits. Tits are not. See, maybe we're missing. Maybe we ought to bring uh, some a transgender female on here, so that we could do a show about that. Could be a serious show. That could be something that that's worthwhile because we get to find out. You know, we get to find out. Is he? Are they really gay? No, we got to get Tommy Chong on here. Uh, we can talk, where, where we can talk he's regular. He says he's a lesbian. He likes women. Ooh. Well, no Tommy shit. Tommy Chong. No, Jenner. <laughs> Bruce Jenner. Oh, I ain't getting him on. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. Oh, it'd make me sick He's to see him. He's the next governor of your state, man. Dude, He's it would next... make me choke. Right here. Yeah. 
Yeah. I want to, I get nausea looking at it. I don't even know what to call it. It's the evolving world we live in, man. It's like and he it, was my hero back in my day. He was on the Wheaties a, box, and Wheaties. his name was not on the air. He was on the Wheaties box, and uh, he he was one of my idols, man. And what if he there was? Fucking, but what if there he, was a, a transgender person? He, that he stabbed me in the back. Forever. My name is Bruce too. See. He stabbed me in the back. <laughs> Why? Because he thought of it first? <laughs> what? <Jesus. laughs> Listen. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to change into a chick. <laughs> yeah. At, at my age. You can still keep your handlebars. You can, right? You can. Yeah, you can I can still keep, keep the mustache. The muff stash. It's a you muff sure. stash. You could be. You oh, could be. I like. Uh, you could be an Italian. I, like, I guess I could change if I could get some chicks in the bed. That'd be cool. So you would now? Would you? Would you uh, chop it off or would you keep it? Well, I'd probably have to keep it. Oh, I would keep mine too. Oh, definitely, definitely yeah. keep it. Yeah. Maybe if I could. Yeah. I could play like I'm a lesbian. Can I do that? Sure. That's what Bruce Jenner sure, does. Sure. Yeah, he goes after and she so. goes after women. Yeah. 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 And you know, whatever. I don't care what you are. It, as long as you leave me the fuck alone and you don't imp impede on my life, do what you want to do. You know, I, I'm. Oh, I got no problem with, uh, with that. I mean, uh, I think the only I mean, you reason understand. why. The guy don't... let me down because he, hey. I looked up to him and he let me down and. And that's that's part of what 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 the DVO is, you know. So he can he can he can do what he wants, you know. As far as I'm concerned, but he's ugly. He's fugly. I mean, not just ugly. He's fugly. I think he's and, got a uh, great pair of legs. I, I think I think he's sexy as shit. I'd yeah. fuck him. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, why you gotta lie, man? What are you <laughs> doing here? What's going on, man? Are you guys gay too? You mean yeah, you, no, you, find gay, it, gay -ish. you find that you find that to be attractive? I'd be like, Hello? I'd be like, I'd be like, Caitlin, let's run to the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I find that attractive, huh? I'll I'll, I'll race you. I'll race me. you to the bedroom. I let him go on up in me. I got no issue with that, hey, man. You know how much the Wheaties box with Bruce Jenner on it is worth? Millions. Probably millions. Probably. And you know what? Whatever. I don't care. He's still whatever he is. He still did what he did. It's just like, okay, OJ Simpson killed his fucking wife. I don't give a fuck what anybody said. He did. And uh, why is nobody fucking hating on him? They're all hating on him, though, man. He When he got busted for fucking kidnapping and shit, the, the, he, he got what he deserved. He knew someday, he knew someday he was going to go to prison. Yeah, he knew that. But what you know he what did. is, you know, you don't take away the man's records and stuff. He's still. Oh, you know, no, no, no. He's still uh, in the Hall of Fame. That's what I'm saying. Same thing with Bruce Jenner. You don't take away what he well, accomplished. You know, my he, issue. My now, issue. Go ahead. My issue is with the Hall of Fame, I think that they should kick O.J. Simpson out of the fucking Hall of Fame. I, I don't right. think so, because everything he did before he murdered her was, or allegedly murdered her, okay, we have to be honest, you know. Um, that's, right. that's right. That he did that before. He, he that's he, They shouldn't be taking that away. Just like Pete Rose. I, I'm so sick of the Pete Rose thing. Let it go. Put him, reinstate him. It, it, he deserves it. You know, well, yeah, he deserves it. I mean, he deserves it. They're gonna kick him out. They need, they need to kick OJ Simpson out of the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. the well, football I, Hall of Fame. I don't care about what he did. Yeah, but I don't know. It's like that's part of that's cancel culture. Then I can't be part of cancel culture. You know, I understand, but I'm just well, making a comparison. Like the, I'm not um, for it the, either. The, and the, I think Pete the, Rose should be in the Hall of Fame. I do. I it's like all the it. Confederate, all the Confederate um, uh, monuments that are being torn down and taken away and which I you know if I had property I'd order them to bring them all to my property and well, here's, and they, here's my they, thought. they'd be they'd be worth some bucks but um, 
We know what you're doing, by the way, over there. Well, anyways, uh, I don't I, think I, that that's a problem. I, I'll tell you why. How would you like it if someone put you into slavery? Oh, and God, then, I'm done apologizing for that. But, but, but wait, no, uh, me too. I, I don't think we have to apologize anymore. But then the people that put you into that slavery are have statues up everywhere. Yeah, but see, the thing is, yeah, the problem is, okay, now the problem is, the problem the is. The Civil War was not fought over only slavery. It was okay. fought over a lot of shit, man. It, it was. wasn't just slavery. Slavery was just one thing. But yeah. Agreed, it, agreed. It was, it, it was a widespread uh, deal, man. It wasn't just. A lot of the uh, people who slavery. fought for the North didn't give a rat's ass about slavery. They didn't care about slavery. No, I'm not saying it. even if it wasn't or was about it, it was politically brought to the attention of the of the world that it was about slavery. OK, yeah, so, after the fact, after the fact, keep, whatever. Keep, so now in everybody's yeah. mind. That that the war that fucking the union or the uh, rebels or whatever you want to call them were fighting for. Well, that's not why they do that to establish division. Sure. Between us, sure. I'm not and, just with you, but how would you like if that was your feeling that these are the just like having Hitler statues all over Germany? It's almost the same way. Yeah, uh, no, I agree that I agree that some of the Confederate shit, okay, should be taken down. Yeah, I don't think we should desecrate their graves. No, no, I no. don't think we should desecrate their 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 uh, uh, battleground. No. Uh, I don't. I think they should be all a part of the cemeteries, uh, no matter what, uh, because they fought with, for what they believe was right. It's part of history. They, part of it's our, a part of our history. There's nothing. Yeah, did, the Germans, did, the, did the Germans do that? Fight for what they thought was right too. So they, they don't don't what, they, No, the problem was the problem was Adolf Hitler wanted them to forget about the past. They he erased all of past history. Right. He said, World War II, we're starting from today is our new history. And right. Stalin and all them guys right. over there did the same fucking thing that they're doing right now. Forget about our past. Forget our about lives it. begin today. Right. Our, well, this history begins now. I don't believe in and that's not right. History. I don't believe in getting rid of history, but I, I, I can sympathize with those statues to a degree where, yeah, th those are kind of fucking bad. OK, uh, it, those hurt some people's. They do hurt some people. OK, well, and you put it that way. It does kind of make sense that you wouldn't have swastikas in Germany and yeah. shit like that. And, 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 I'm, and, not and, for it. I'm not and if, if they would have won the war, that would have been a different story. They right. could hang their shit, but they didn't win. So. If the okay. South the one, it would be different. Were, let, let me ask you this. Now that we're talking about the Civil War, do you but agree? But then again, the Civil War was kind of settled out. It didn't, it, they didn't win or lose. I, I, I think they, 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 they sort of kind of um, flea bargain out. It, it, yeah, was a, you know. it was a guerrilla war. It was a guerrilla war after that for many years. Right. And now, do you agree? Let me ask you this about the Civil War. Do you agree that that Abraham Lincoln says we're not going to hang anybody, we're not going to get him for treason, we're not going to put him in prison? It wouldn't settle anything. That's right. True. Okay. So, do you agree with that, or do you think that he they yeah. should have rounded up them rebels and fucking charged no, them no. I, and I fucking think, hang them for fucking the, treason? I think he did the right thing because I'll tell you why. They were still Americans. They got caught up. It was all about economics for them. They were losing their their farmhands. They were losing the right. people that picked their cotton and their tobacco and all this stuff. So it was about what I say all the time. It was about economics. It wasn't about hating another individual, which it's pretty shitty that somebody would do that. But that's right. now they would have to hire. The thing is that they'd have to hire them and pay them. Right. So then, therefore, their product would raise in price. And exactly. but that that would all fit in. See, so that be it was all about that. The North didn't have plantations and fields and shit like that. Okay, right. That right. was all down in the South. The tobacco right. industry and the, the tobacco cotton, cotton industry. industry. Right. right. You so, still think you, you don't think that those men were 
were still picking cotton for those farmers and yeah, but they and, had to get living, in, uh, living in on the property and the, in the shed down the road and sure. in the guest house. And, and they, 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 were getting, they were getting they were getting paid plus they were getting fed and they yeah. were getting uh, um, uh, but they got paid a little they got because paid. they were getting fed and boarded. You know, they had, you know, uh, everything to their disposal, the whatever if they wanted medical to have there was. Other, they could before they weren't allowed to. If they wanted to go and play some music, now they could. Before, when they were slaves, they couldn't play music, okay? Well, not to mention, the they couldn't go to the school because right. they were black also. So, so they had to not learn how to read too much or too good. But still, that's not... The Civil War went on for years and years, and that's why I'm saying... That's, That's not I'm on saying, anymore. I That's the, the, I, I I'm going to apologize. We, no, they can go to the schools point. now. That's not the point. Had Lincoln rounded these guys, Jefferson Davis and all these guys that fucking betrayed the country and divided Robert our e. Lee, Robert E. Lee, so everybody. All of these guys should have been arrested and charged no. for treason. And that would have no, been a they, big enough fucking apology. No, I, 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 I didn't apology. see that. That they made a plea deal and they quit fighting. And right, but that could also created another revolution, or I mean, not a revolution, another civil war, because then somebody else is going to take over. Now you got your leaders, Jefferson Davis, and that telling you the fight's over, we're done, that's it. But now if they would have hung them or whatever, somebody else would have fucking taken over and maybe the war would have gone on long. Okay. I don't. I don't agree with that. I, I think it would have been because, because a show of of force to them people that said, "Don't ever fucking do this again." But they or weren't afraid. Fucking do the same but to you. They weren't afraid. That wouldn't have made them afraid. The 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 uh, uh, Confederate Army was not afraid to fight. They were they no. were in you know uh, those mountain people and the fucking farm people. They weren't the city people like the North was most of the time. You know? Right. And, right. You know, so they would have kept fighting and they could live off the land and they could do whatever they needed to do. You know, yeah. I, I think the whole treason thing was so that it didn't create more animosity towards the United States government. Because this whole thing right. was over hatred well, to the yeah. towards United States government, you know, well, sure over it is. boundaries is what they thought. You know, you, know, you take away the, the slave part of it. And and what they were really mad about was the United States government trying to tell them what to do, and they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to lose. I did that. Now you know what I did there, right? We were all in agreement that they should have never hung them fucking people sure. or tried them for treason. But I was the devil's advocate, and I started the debate. It's all my fault. Yeah. I'm sorry. I yeah. won't, I'll, I'll try not to let that happen again. Just like I they agree, should let I agree these capital hill never, people just go. Let the capital now, hill people go. You, Hey, yeah. what happened happened, and now it's over. But there's and, still history of it. You can't just forget about it, and, forget and we ought to move on. Well, it, we it has just everything move. to do with where we are today. It, it has everything to do with where we are today. When you right. confront these liberals with, if you confront them with the Civil War, they don't want to talk about it. Well, they don't right. want to talk it, about it, that, it, that that the KKK was started by Southern Democrats. Right. They don't want to talk about that either. They don't want to talk about that forever. Uh, Democrat politics were key, were slave oriented and and you know whatever. Uh, Republicans were Abraham Lincoln was Republican. He wasn't fucking a Democrat trying that was freeing the slaves. It was Republican freeing the slaves. Yeah, you, you know, Republican freed the slaves. Republicans ended the war. Uh, Republicans, uh, it wasn't for uh, the Republicans and the 13th Amendment, was it? Was it the 13th Amendment? Which, yeah, I think so. Which, which freed the slaves, which yeah. said no one can own a slave, and they are protected under the law, yeah. that all things are created equal. And so and that went on, and it, all, it went on again for another 80 years or more, and, and into the uh, 20th century, even that they were weren't yeah. allowed to wash their clothes there. They weren't allowed to go to the school. They no, weren't they, allowed to go to the dinner. They weren't yeah. allowed to ride on the fucking bus. There was you know? no equality at all. There was no equality at all. Uh, no, and I, I, I think on, that, that went on in the north 
and in the yeah. south. south. It wasn't yeah. just in the south. Okay, yeah. okay. Now I remember. I remember those days where they had. We now, went to a bus station, and it was a Greyhound bus station, and they had white lavatory and black lavatory. Right. And they had right. a black drinking yeah. fountain and a white drinking fountain. Who the fuck That's says lavatory? Like. Who the fuck says lavatory? I do. Are you a janitor at the fucking middle school or something? What the fuck, man? It's you don't a, like the way I describe restroom? Is that no. better for you, man? Is it restroom? It's a, it's a, it's a fucking piss house, you know. It's a piss house. I don't know. I just made that up. I don't. That's not what we say. But. It's, it's a lavatory, man. Lavatory. Yeah. I think we just say bathroom or something. Bathroom. Or Ed, how many different bathroom. ways can we say bathroom? Ed. Ed. Latrine. Yeah, another word. Latrine. Uh, um. I, I, yeah, the shit house, the shitter. In the, movie, in the movie Lincoln, in the movie Lincoln, where he talks about where uh, what's his name, uh, 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 Thomas Jefferson went over to England uh -huh. to negotiate with the fucking British and shit, and he visits this rich man, and uh, they have drinks and dinner and shit. Well, it's time for him to relieve himself, so he goes to the bathroom. And he goes to the loo. He goes to the loo. He looks up, and there's a picture of George Washington. He comes back and doesn't say anything. And the British Lord says to him, says, well, what do you think of our picture of George Washington? And he says, well, to be honest with you, nothing will scare the shit out of a Brit more than a picture of George Washington. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's a funny fucking story. Yeah. You're not going to tell one. If you ever watch the movie Lincoln, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, I never movie. really watched it because here's two reasons why I didn't watch it. First of all, I started watching it and it was so fucking boring I couldn't stand it. And second of all, why? It, no, it, it was, why why would you get a Brit to play a real American? He wasn't born in England like George Wash or whatever. Lincoln was born here. Right. Illinois. And I never understood why we got a British actor to play that. We should have got an American actor. Right? Daniel Day Lewis? Yeah. I'm not saying he didn't do a good job. No, I'm not his acting abilities are amazing. But, you yeah. know, I think, I think Burt Reynolds would have been better or somebody like that, you know. Burt Reynolds, he was, what, five foot nothing? Yeah, it's all right. You can put still. <laughs> you know who I really did like in that show was the one who played John Adams. Or was he John Adams? Paul, Paul, uh, oh, my God, Giamatti, I think his name is. Paul, G no, he was, um, he was uh, Secretary of State uh, Seward. Seward, yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked him. Yeah, he played Seward. He's yeah, a yeah. good actor. He is, yeah. And uh, it was a good movie. I'm not, but it just bored me. And, and the one of the thing that bored me about is that I, I did so much, uh, you know, research on Lincoln. So I knew everything. So it was kind of like I didn't learn anything new, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, it's all the same. Yeah. I mean, when they when they passed the Thirteenth Amendment in in the House, it was fucking crazy. It yeah. was loony, man. There's, you know. Oh, you here's know, one. Too. Who's the one president that stole the prior president's uh, civil rights uh, greatness? And took it all for himself when it was the president before him that started it. John F. Kennedy started it, and Lyndon Baines Johnson finished it, and took all the credit for that motherfucker. And took all the credit for it. And he was yeah. a most—he was one of the most racist presidents ever, from what I read and heard. He didn't want it. No, he didn't was, want it. It was just for him for to get political. It was political. But he—it was a veto proof. It yeah. passed veto proof. If a matter of fact. Uh, uh, the Republicans were overwhelmingly for it, and the Democrats, only about a third of them voted for it. Was that so it? if you want to know the fucking truth, yeah, if you want, if, if anybody out there is listening and gives a shit, uh, it, it was not a close, it was not a close vote, but it was, uh, you didn't get all the Democrats to vote for it. It was mainly a Republican kind of a deal between Republicans and Kennedy, and that's why Johnson didn't like it. Is because it was between Republicans and a Democrat, and yeah. Democrat, and he felt that it was the right thing to do at the well, time. It was, he was, uh, and it was weird for Texans Democrat like Johnson to be in there because there was it was a lot of Republicans in Texas, you know. And yeah. I read I read this one thing that uh, you you know the Repub the Republican people were hated that Jim Kennedy was coming that day, you know, right. 
They they even put in like in the newspaper, local newspaper, like it looked like a death notice that Kennedy was coming. Yeah. And, well, they yeah. didn't like Kennedy in in Dallas. Right. No, you know, they, they, didn't. they. He um he didn't win Dallas. As a matter of fact, when he no. won his presidency, he didn't win Dallas. He didn't win any of those counties around Dallas. Right. He didn't win Fort Worth. He didn't win Houston. Well, Texas uh, but he's always been Republican anyway, so. No, well, right. they've been mostly Republican, and that's why it was strange to have Lyndon Baines Johnson, who yeah. was a senator from Texas, in there. Now, now, it was, you know, I'm going to say that Texas was purple back in the day. Yeah. Texas was purple. It was red and blue. Uh, it wasn't, it, most of the red states were up north. Michigan, Pennsylvania, um, um, uh, you know, Ohio, all them states were red, and um, a majority of the southern states, of course, were Dixie Democrats back then. Right, That's right, what Reagan right, right. was a part of was a Dixie Democrat. Yeah, and those of the South, they didn't, you know, they believe a man's property is his right. Well, that's what kept slowing the racial controversy down. That's what rent to blacks. They yeah. don't have to. Yeah, right. See, that's that's what brings the races racism down to where it's you know it's that's fucked up all right you know i mean no i no i am in total agreement with the fact that that what they did to african americans back then was fucking bullshit oh bullshit. right but, bullshit. but there right. was no so getting out of it man the only way to get out of it was can to we just, all just can we all just just Get along. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's, just like, it's just like the the the, Jew, the Jewish people being going to sue Egypt because they put, had them enslaved. You know, I mean, the Jews were one of the first slaves around. You know, um, well, yeah. So why? I mean, we just it happened. It's tragic. But, but I we, want. We I want a black. It. I want a. I want a white TV network. I want white colleges. I want. Uh, uh, we do have uh, white colleges. It's called Duke, Harvard. Um, you know, those are the white movie channel. I want the white movie channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, you're again. You got to look at all of it. It's called you know population. African American is like twelve percent of the population. Okay, so now but you know what? Too wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Indians got they got their casinos and shit. What are we gonna give to the black guys? Well, we can't put them on reservations anymore. Those, those days are over. Well, that's not, it, it's so different. We, you know, like we came here and just took land. Like, fuck you, here's some beads. Well, yeah. I understand that. <laughs> I know that. I knew that about us. I don't us. know, we man. Those were some pretty good deals, man. We yeah. tried to make good deals. Manhattan tried, Island was $25. In, if in you a don't listen, if you don't listen, we're going to kill you and take it anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, after Custer's last stand, um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Ulysses S. Grant got fed up and said, we're done. We're taking it. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that was basically it. Yeah, that was fuckers America is. America yeah. is a, some we're bunch of thieves, man. We are we're the meanest, meanest motherfuckers. We're the meanest, uh, uh, rudeness, tootinest assholes on the planet. Um, we are assholes. I'll, you know what, I'll give you that you know what, part. Yeah. You know what thing that no, a lot of, not a lot of people talk about that we did that was horrible, just as horrible as all of that. Let's talk about big boy and little boy. Oh yeah, we. You know, oh uh, yeah, uh, the shit. atomic bombs. Yeah. Well, he, he asked him twice. He was nice about it. Look, I need you to surrender, okay? So we wouldn't have to go through all this bullshit. They said, "No, nah, fuck you." Yeah. And so he said, okay. So he dropped a fucking bomb on him and said, okay, now, how about it? And they said, no. No way. No way. No fucking way. So then he said, okay, I'm going to drop another one on you. Okay, boom. Then in the next telegram he sent him, he said, next target is Tokyo. Yeah. I, I still, you know. And like, I'm sure it got quiet on the other end. Yeah, but you know what? It, it, uh... I, I just think it's horrible, like, because there were so many innocent people that didn't even want this war that got killed because of it, you know. But that's, uh, that's what war is. It's not a police what, action. That's, started why, that's, that's right. They started that's it. Why I, that's why we can get right into the war in Afghanistan after that one, because that's a perfect example of what you don't do. Yeah. The war exactly. in Afghanistan shouldn't have lasted 20 years. 
the war in Afghanistan should have been over the first time we went in there. And the we war should in have Afghanistan gone in there is about Russia. the oil fields. Oil fields in, in Russia and all this other shit. It's all a control thing. If if United States left, now we're leaving. Russia's going to take over Afghanistan again. China like, is. China, China is. They want the opium. Someone's taking it they over. They want the opium. Yeah. They want the opium. There's no oil in Afghanistan. Or it's all have... opium trade. That's well, what it's been about all along. It's been the opium it. trade. Why do you think three quarters of America is hooked on fucking fentanyl? And fucking barbiturates and fucking goddamn uh, opioids. Yeah. They're fucking... It comes, it comes out of Afghanistan. And, it's have it's and it's now it's going to stop. Gonna do that. Why? Do you want to know why it's going to stop? Because uh. the fucking Taliban is against opium. And they'll destroy all the fucking opium fields. Well, Heroin what? went away, basically, for, for 25, 35 fucking years because the Taliban was in control of Afghanistan. That's where eighty percent of the world's opium. It's comes always from. it's always about some kind of money, dude. It always is. It's it like, always, always, it's always, money. always. It's always economics, and and he, the thing of it is, is you don't need tons of money to live a nice, decent life. Okay, well, I don't. World have, War Two wasn't about money. It was about World War Two. World yeah, War II. Yeah, that was the that was the only different war that was actually a war. These other things are like. Oh, you know, you give us this and we'll give you that. And, and you know, uh, you know, it was really, are you the enemy or, or, or should I shoot you or, you know, no, you, know, you can't fight a war like that. It's not a war. Uh, World War Two was really, you had yeah. to kill everything the in Viet sight. Vietnam War, it took them until the fucking late 80s or 90s to actually admit that that was a war. Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't a war. It never was. It was a conflict. Yeah. It, was a, it was a police action. Right. Yeah. They, they, they did action. finally they team in a war in the, yeah. I think it was the 90s or something. And it was, it was practice yeah. for us because they didn't have helicopters, submarines. They didn't have aircraft carriers. We haven't fought a war with a, uh, a reparable uh, opponent since World War II also. Yeah. And we always pick on the weak motherfuckers, man, and try to police those motherfuckers. And don't let them build nothing, you know, but but we'll, we'll be there and train your guys to, you know, fight against the, the Taliban and uh, 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 the North Viet Cong. But then we'll give it back to you. And then, then the North Viet Cong can come walk back over after we all slaughtered exactly. all our men. With fucking, yeah, with, with, with all those lives, know, all that money. I mean, it, with with I'm, friendly oh, fire oh, on top of a fucking out of a helicopter, he's shooting our guys down or dropping napalm right in our fucking path in our face. And it, the number it one, was, it was like ants over there, and they we we it was a police action. Can you imagine? And the, the and no respect. One, the number one lesson to learn from wars like Vietnam. Iraq, Afghanistan. Afghanistan, all of that. You can learn from the first Gulf War. We took every fucking thing we had and went in and cleaned their fucking clock. Right. And Saddam Hussein was knocked down so hard that he was never going to act on war again. He could never invade a neighbor again. We fucked him up. And that's what we should have done in Afghanistan, and that's what we should have done in Iraq the second time. Matter of fact, we should have never invaded Iraq because he was teeter tottering. He was getting ready to fall. They were yeah. going to get him. All, all that I'm saying, dude, is let's give peace a chance. Yeah. Well, well that'd, be cool. that'd be cool. That'd yeah. be cool. You know, yeah. and if, if if you got a problem and you want to call the Americans to help you're gonna pay for it this time yeah, i'm not gonna yeah, yeah. i'm not I'm gonna, gonna do no free. freebies there's no, no freebies, freebies anymore it's gonna cost you and it's gonna be right up front it's gonna cost you and because i'm sending every fucking thing i got so you better get your head down i'm coming and well, that's the way it's gonna be it, we cannot do these fucking endless fucking wars no, we, it just can't be fucking done anymore. I'm fucking done with them. Yeah. And I want a war like we had in World War Two, where we said, you know what, dude, I'm sending 500,000. I'm sending a million troops. See ya. We're going to clean your fucking clock. And you that's know, what we should have done. 
We said, and they weren't afraid of us. After that, they said, fuck, we can beat these guys. All we have but to do is hold out. Then again, see, we've been doing it to them for years and and do, it, oppressing them and, and sanctioning them and pissing them off and killing their fucking people left and right for years. For years. And, 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 and they retaliated. And everybody thinks that the whole war was started in 9-11, which, no, that was a no. retaliation for what we did to them. You know, yeah. it, it, we got to just know when to pull the fuck back, man. So what you're saying, we got to be like Kenny Rogers, the gambler. We got to know when to fold them, know when to hold them. Yeah, you, yeah, know, you got to know when to go and when not say, to no, go. No, no, we're not going. We're not going there to help you. We're not going to help you. But if we come and help you, you're going to pay for it, motherfucker. Because not, everybody doesn't no know. Everybody doesn't know that that was a a, a tactical war um, a, attack on our, our World Trade Center and the Pentagon. That's our economy and our military. They, t they hit both of our top. Right. So that's a military attack, not a terrorist attack like people might think. Yeah, it's a military attack. You're right. Oh, my God. I can't believe you actually got something right, uh, sweet yeah. cheek. Yeah. That's and that I don't want to talk knee about scab. Knee scab hit it right on the fucking head of the barrel. It just uh -huh. nailed it on that one, dude. Nailed it, dude. Damn, man. Damn, if I could get this applause to work, I'd have done that. The scab has yeah. been peeled off. Yeah. That's great stuff, dude. Thank great you. stuff. I'm not even I'm not even joking because I, I don't like war. I studied war a lot and this and that and i was in the united states uh, army so i i believe in a military because i believe that i want to be here to protect my fucking family and and everybody here but i don't believe in fucking doing uh war and shit for political reasons or for fucking uh monetary uh reasons you know uh or why the fuck are we bothering with other countries fuck them. right true. You know? true that true true that and if we do go to a war that would someone attacks us, like say at Pearl Harbor again or somewhere else, right. somebody shoots a rocket over here like North Korea and hits LA, you know, or, you know, Hawaii or, or one of ours, then, you know, we got to retaliate and, and in full force, you know, it, it's we not going to be- We got to take everything we got. Then, we got. Then, when we're, we, then when we're finished with them in a few days, then we can take whatever they have. We don't, it's not, oh, oh catch and release. It, it's like, we're going to take it all because we beat your fucking ass. Yeah, yeah. No, and I and I agree with that. I'm, I'm yeah, go, gung-ho, whatever. I'm all about the United States military. I'm all about having the best military. I'm all about having the greatest equipment that, that money. Because if I had it my way, North Korea would take me a less than a fucking week. But but you know why I like the United States military and wanting everything to be the best and want to have the best equipment and the best trained soldiers because that means more less countries are going to want to fuck with us. Okay, day one so, I take out all their transmission, take out all their air, take out all their navy, and then I'd fucking wait, wake up and smell the coffee. Just shoot a missile at us. Let's see what's fucking gonna happen. Biden's in charge, though. Here's the first so thing. Biden, Biden might be going, but, 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 oh, what's, what's the rocket code? The rocket I code. Know, I don't know who told Four, you Biden six. was. Six. So. I, I don't know who told you that silly thing. Uh, that man can't control his bowel movement. That, okay. that, that, that man is not in charge. Uh, there's, a guy in a, there's a guy in a dark room in the White House. <laughs> It's a dark room. He's pulling all the plungers and he's pulling all the fucking cases and turning all the switches on and off. Yeah, it's, it's Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah. Let me make sure I get the codes to the missiles right. Let me, let me see. see the man behind the curtain. Cliff, Cliff. I'm <laughs> going, oh. But wow, having man. the best military and wanting the best military, it, that's because then less people will mess with you because they're scared of you. So I don't want to use our technology and our weapons. I just want to have them 
in case somebody does invade. That's what it's all yeah. about. You know, and all right, if someone's holding another country hostage and other countries think that it's time to get in, OK, maybe we should. I think the first thing we should do is get rid of NATO. Fuck NATO. Oh, yeah, we got to be out of NATO. You know? I tell all those Middle Eastern countries. If you strike us again, we're going to melt you down. <laughs> wow, you sounded like Satan. <laughs> Yeah, some scurvy bastard. Sons of bastards. I got this. So, so you better watch your own families because your families are doing it. And you know, after they come and bomb the Americans and shit and shoot us up, they go right to those backyards and have a pork barbecue. And don't tell me they don't. They're all together. And if they, if you think they ain't. And you then you're gonna get stabbed in the fucking back if they're like a fucking snake. Any enemy is like a snake, they'll bite you. You you could even try to feed his that fucking habit, he'll bite you anyway. Uh, all right, thank you, Ralph Lee Emery. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go, folks, in a fucking nutshell. There he is. God damn it, Rommel, you beautiful bastard. I read your book. Bye. Yeah, and Pat Redman, Zeke. I'll these so go ahead and strike I'll us these one more time. If you strike us one more time, and I find out you did it, I, 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 I want to. We're killing your grandparents. We're killing your grandchildren. We're gonna kill everything in sight. I'm not playing. Yeah, all right. uh, uh, that's cool. All right, I, 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 I want to talk for a second here. So, so are you, are you done, Swizzle Seat? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> hey, what, what you got to change the subject? You want to yes. change the subject? At, when we started doing the live videos or like this, I started doing something and I don't know if nobody noticed it and I'm going to say it anyways. I started wearing a different musical shirt every week, except for the first week. I missed that. So what I want to do now is every week I'm going to wear I'm going to wear a different musical shirt and we're going to have a little segment on the person on that shirt. Oh, OK. Kid Rock. OK, today is Kid Rock. Yes. Now we've already had some, like. We had Billy Idol one week. We had the Rolling Stones one week. We had Motley Crue one week. We had, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but we did. We had a different one every week. And right now, it, it Kid Rock. So it's like, I wanted to see how long it would go before somebody would notice it. But I, the fucking uh, Sweet Cheeks never even noticed it. And he's there each week. <laughs> Sweet so, Cheeks didn't notice it. He's never Did once. Gonzo, I wonder if Gonzo noticed it. He's usually pretty attentive. So now that's going to be part of this show is what the king wears on his shirt each week. So All right. So the king is wearing Kid Rock this week. Kid. So yeah. what's going on with Kid Rock? Kid Rock used a a, uh, a racial slur doing a show uh, one night at his club down in Nashville, I guess it is. Yeah. And he got himself into a little fucking bit of trouble. Right. And then to top it all off, he did it again in the next show. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't agree with that, you know, like 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 here's the thing with my thing with music and my thing with celebrities. Oh, I'd have to know. I'd have to know what he did to say he, whatever you want to say, do what you want. That doesn't mean I don't have to like your music. I don't even have to like you to listen to your music. Right. You know, it's music. As well, long how as could you not like him? You don't even know him. How could you? I, I personally, I, I know. So, so personally, you couldn't dislike someone you don't know. Well, everybody thinks they know everybody. You know, if you're no, on, TV, well, I never do. I never judge a book by its cover. Yeah, I wouldn't. I then, couldn't. I can't. Everybody. I treat others as I would have been treated. See. And then I, I hope to be treated fairly, which I'm, you know, you barely are, but, you know, sometimes you are, most of the time. You know what else? Sometimes you are, sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes right. you don't. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there you go there. I mean, uh, I can't dislike um, uh, Ted Nugent because they talk bad about him or, or, or I can't be mad about, uh, uh, you know, uh, Tom Hanks because, you, you know, uh, you know, because he kidnaps the children and shit. Yeah. You know, and I can't feel bad about you know uh, Donald Trump. I don't know him personally. I, you know, uh, so I don't can't I can't 
hate somebody I don't know. Uh, well, how do you know? I don't hate anybody. And that's the thing. It's like, um... Kid Rock. Kid, Kid Rock. Are you saying that Kid Rock is a good musician, but you just don't like his personal life? I love, I love, I, I think Kid Rock's awesome. He, he's a I'm conservative and so is he. You know, what? We're both, we're both conservatives, you know, and he's one of the outspoken conservative people. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I felt like I was doing subtitles, like, you know, like. <laughs> Also available in Chinese yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Mandarin. Yeah, uh, you, can get, you can get this on Wish. You know, no, but that, anyways, um, no, I like Kid Rock. I don't I don't agree with the comments that he makes, but that doesn't mean I got to hate the person, you know. No, uh, no. I, I don't agree with a lot of things. I don't agree with people in my family say, but I still love them. Well, I'd have to be uh, informed of what he said on the stage or whatever on a live performance that he said. I'd have to, and yeah, I'll be. They, the they won't tell you that. They just say it's a racial slur. They don't tell you um, exactly what he said. So it's well, not, not, you know, you're, it's not, not, you're not educated enough to make your own decision on. No, I mean, absolutely not. We're too stupid. We're so yeah. stupid. We can't even get an ID. Right. Right. Well, right, I, right. everything's stupid. You know, like we got What we have to do. Here's how you end racism. You stop talking about racism and you just live and be. And you yeah, fix yeah, that pretty much gets you to forget about it, don't it? No, not forget about it. You fix the problem. You don't make it go away. But if you don't stop talking about it and start doing something about it, it's never going to change. It's going to get worse, in my opinion. Oh, sure. You know, so okay. that's why they do it. That's why they keep bringing it up. That's why they always bring up the race card you know? because they know it'll make the, the make it a never ending story. It's but like it's the song that not, never ends. It's not them that's doing it. It's it's, you know, people with white guilt doing it. It's <sighs> it's the media doing it. It's not just, you know, I've have so many friends that are not white. OK. Uh, all different Asian, Mexican, whatever. Well, you were in the military, and there's going to be a lot of guys you're going to be close around every goddamn day that you're not going to lie. Right. I tell you what, I dislike more white people than I do any uh, any other color person. Any. I mean, and that's one, get... that's one of the, that's one of the drawbacks of being in the military, and, and you know, and you know, but. You know, there's good times and bad times in there, man. I I had some good times. I had some bad times, but there be know. some good times, bad times. Yeah, me too. Um, I had. Uh, I, I tell but you I what, I never, I never traded my travels and shit. I thought it was kind of pretty cool that way. I remember one time when we were we got stationed for a couple of weeks at this camp. It wasn't even a base. It was called. <sighs> Oh my God, Camp Smith up in the Adirondacks, right? And we were remodeling some barracks there. So we went, we were going into town and we were going on this boat that was like a bar. And and my fellow dudes were like, we're not in the army. Well, what the hell are we? We play for the local baseball uh, AAA team. Okay, dude, I never got so many girls to talk to me. Just to tell yeah. us. It was like the most amazing thing all night. Oh, what do you? Oh, I'm I'm like fucking. Uh, I'm the catcher. You know? right and it was like the it was the best time of my life. And it never worked for me again. I, I think because right. I was never around Buzz Head. You know, we looked like we had the short hair, and we were all yeah. you know worked out looking and shit. And you know, and then I go home to my you know one chubby friend, and they're like, "Yeah, you're not in no military, or, yeah. or I mean, a baseball team." You know, it's like you know, but it was fun. You know, and. Yeah. Uh, I have That's more good, good memories of see, but I was in during peacetime. Okay. Yeah, so me too. Well, my I was in towards the end of the war. So I had more fun in the military than most people did. I was between the fucking I, I went in in 1993 after the Gulf War and got out in 1991, three months before September 11th. Two thousand one, okay. yeah. Two thousand one. So from ninety three to two thousand one, I was in, and I missed both wars. You know, yeah. Uh, it, it 
it was crazy, you know, and uh, I don't know what that was, what, what helped me, you know, miss those two wars. Because I was definitely in during, right after the one and got out right before the other one. You know, how, how can that be, you know? How does that happen? Are you dizzy yet? <laughs> Watch this. Watch this magic trick. Well, I'll be special. Ain't that nice? Uh, yeah. 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 Spectacular. But, but what I was saying is, I don't know what angel or whatever I had that kept me out of both wars. That's pretty fucking weird. Well, you know? it kept me out of war, too. I mean, I, 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 the war was ending when I got in. Right. So the, there was no more war, you know. Right. I, I I missed it. So you know the I'll last war up. though, the last war that the Navy really um, had the best battles was probably World War Two. You know. Yeah. Because after World War Two, no other Navy was better than ours. You know. No. What I mean? It never. You know. So. No. Well, I mean, like I said before, I mean, we haven't fought any. Anybody with a reputable military against us in like since World War II. Nobody. Yeah, Viet North Vietnam only got had gunboats. Right, right. North and North the Iraqis yeah. never had. Shoes. They had gunboats. They had a few gunboats. Right. And, and, you know, but other than that, they didn't but have a whole Japan lot. Japan and Germany had a navy. Japan yeah, we, had had those, we had the yeah, river the rats. Ass. We had the river rats on those PT boats right. that got down in those rivers, and they cleaned out all those sure. in no time. Sure. They didn't yeah. have no more, uh, just some fruit carrying. They had to well, search you know, those you know for weapons started, and right? shit. You know how it started, right? We had some ships in the in the, uh, in the Gulf of Tolkien, and they sent out a couple of gunboats. And fucking fired on one of our fucking destroyers. And they fired back and sank one of them. And then the shit hit the fan. Then they called in air support and there was no getting out of it then. They yeah. called in air support. Uh, that's how the Vietnam War started. The, uh, no, Gulf of Tonkin. Uh, yes. I so. Gulf I okay. Okay. Well, uh, here's that's how I heard. They got aggressive. We sent, in, we sent in advisors for the guys in the South. And we were off the coast, and we were supporting them guys, and but we weren't firing on land. We were just advising their their shit. And then one of our destroyers, uh, uh, you, I can't think of the name of the ship. I'll figure it out later. But th there was a destroyer in the Gulf of Tonkin that was fired on by a gunboat, and they returned fire. And after that, they called in air support. Once we called in air support. That's when the shit started hitting the fan. That's when things got aggressive. What year is this? 1963. Yeah. Well, that, that like, like I said, that, that shit's been going on there since 50s. Oh, yeah. We were, we were, had, we had fucking guys down there after the French pulled out. The French That's were right. That's, that's, we where, that's what I'm talking about. That shit started with the French. The mm -hmm. French were fighting the Viet, the Viet Minh, which were the yeah. communist uh, right. Vietnamese. And then, okay, uh, Saigon. And then we got in it. Then we got in it. Then, then we sent in advisors, and then they did a treaty, and they said, okay, you guys can have the north, and you guys get the south. And they in split. In the 60s. It. Yeah, in the in 60s, the we got in it. 60s. And then Kennedy sent advisors. Into and Vietnam, that, that, that shit lasted for almost twenty years. Well, what was the last president we fucking assassinated? Yeah. We assassinated the fucking president of Vietnam, South Vietnam, to get him out of the way. He was ready for reunification with the North, and they say we ain't having it. Uh, and they killed him. Well, technically, it's Saddam Hussein too, but we didn't. Still. Yeah, well, I, I I love watching that cocksucker hang. Yeah. Yeah. You I know really what? I don't think we I don't think we even put a dent in it because there's always like a like a pot dealer, man. That guy, he he's got a leader fucking guy that's gonna take his place right away instantly. And he yeah. might be worse. Yeah, you're probably right. 
<laughs> I am right. I'm always right. I'm very rarely wrong. You're not always right. No, I, you are not always right. I am not agreeing. <laughs> I will never agree with that statement. I will. Well, the go. South. How long did it take for the South to fall? Didn't take long at all. No. It took yeah. a it took a couple uh, about a year. Yeah, but we were. It was we, over. We were still involved over there till '74. You know, '75. '75. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we didn't we had really nothing left in '75, though. Yeah. Man, we already pulled everybody out. I know, we... but we shouldn't have been there that long. Never. Yeah. You know, like even the World Wars were so fucking just short. They weren't that long. They weren't fucking ten years. They were four years. You know, whatever. You know, because we went, went went in with everything we've got. Right. Right. We, we went in with everything we had. We we committed everything we could. Well, and that's it. how you win a war. You can't win a war otherwise. And that includes nuclear arms. If you know you've got you, nuclear weapons in your arsenal, you fucking use the cocksuckers. You know what you do is you, you bring the, sh the planes over and uh, have big speakers on the side and you play the gap band. You drop the bomb on me as you're dropping the bombs. Yeah, nice. but that might piss off the Russians and they got a lot of uh, nukes too and China too. Oh, well. they... You know what? I'm tired of this pussyfooting around. Let's just go to nuclear war. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you got, motherfucker. Because we got space war. We've got, we, we've, got, we've, got uh, we've got space wars. What, what do they call that? Uh, Ronald Reagan. Uh, yeah, Star no, no, no. Remember, Star remember, remember Patton said we got the said, iron gold. I can't imagine a war where got, there's no men got, and no heroes. No men and no heroes. This, this can't. This will never happen. I can't got imagine a war like this. Missiles. We've got more anti-missile missiles than they've got missiles. I'm telling you, only a couple are going to get through. And the cities they're going for is L.A., fucking New York City, and Washington, D.C. Everybody else is going to go, ha ha, you liberal mm -hmm. prick. See you later. <laughs> yeah. there, if they're smart, there's a couple other places too that where we things right. are, here. <laughs> you know, and there's uh, a couple other places that we yeah. don't know about that they right. do. Right. It's kind of crazy. What about this hacking thing? What do you think we should do about this hacking thing? Well, what what can we do? I mean, well, it, I mean, they're coming out from somewhere. You can't stop should people we, if you can't catch them. I mean, what are you gonna do? Should we? Should we reach out and, and, and show Russia, here, look, we can do it too, and shut down their fucking power plant in Moscow? Uh, so we can do it darkness for days. We would never do that uh, in the public. We would never do that knowingly. The United yeah. States government would do maybe do that. But we but would know speak. that they did it. Right. They make it look like somebody else did it. They would even have people arrest it fakely for yeah. they were the ones that did it. Somebody in Seattle fucking did this and hacked it and did all this. And so <laughs> it's going to be hauled off to prison for uh, yeah. life because they did this. But they're really used to get. And you'll never hear from the guy again, ever. You'll yeah. never hear from him yeah. again. You'll never He's see gone. another interview on him, nothing. You know, so abs absolutely, that's the only way because it will never be done in the public eye it, openly. You know, yeah, just like it's not it, openly being done. Putin's not saying that we did it. Yeah. So it's not openly being done in Russia either. Right. You know? They're blaming it on hackers there. Yeah, not, criminals. Not, They're blaming it on criminals. Right. Absolutely. What are they not. hacking now? What are they hacking now? They hack everything. Well, they, they're hacking everything. They hacked that fucking pipeline. Yeah. They hacked the water system in in, in Michigan. They yeah. hacked everything. That's what that you know that that lead scare up in Michigan with all the all the water pollution and yeah, shit and well, all the bad yeah. shit. They played yeah. that. That's the Russians did that. Right. The Russians yeah, fucking. Well, I, don't, I, I don't get it, man. Because you know they hack it, and all you do is go out there and take out two wires. And turn the fucking valve on, and it's on. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, no, yeah, man. <laughs> no, it don't work that way. No, I'm sorry. No, no. 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 no it turning work. on that, pipe, turning that pipeline back on yeah. by manual means would have taken 18 weeks. They're saying. Yeah. 
Oh, Turn they're full of shit. How long yeah. does it take to, to open, take out two wires they and turn them out? Seven million dollars to have that shit turned back on. They're full of shit. They're, and if you believe that, I got some swamp land over there in Florida for you. Uh, can I buy it? Because you could build it, Disney it, World again. Yeah, you could build Disney World add on and shit. Yeah. Disney World uh, definitely was a swamp. Or is a swamp. I know. Yes. You know, Disneyland was a swamp. Yeah. It was. Disneyland was a fucking, nobody wanted that land that Disneyland is built on. Well, that's nobody why he was, he was smart because he. He bought it cheap. Yeah, real cheap. You know, I had, I, I'll tell you what, I had swamp ass earlier. You had swamp ass earlier? Yeah. Yeah, that's you got to get some better toilet paper to clean oh, your ass better. You know what I get now? I got the cool wipes. I had swamp ball sack too earlier. Um, Ooh, yeah, you know, you know where it sticks right to your leg. But yeah. I, bought, I bought these uh wipes at the dollar store, they're cooling wipes. I just wipe it down now, you know, and right. it's good, it's good stuff. It's like sitting on a leather couch naked, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. like velcro, it's like mm -hmm. velcro to your yeah. skin. It is. Yeah. It, 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 it's uh, wow. Uh, so, it's not not good if you're on a cold day, but it's good if you're on a hot day. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Did yeah. anybody get hurt on the Fourth of July? No, nobody got hurt on the Fourth of July, as far as I'm concerned, except for a hockey player. He got himself killed. Oh yeah. He got hit in the chest with a fucking firework. It's fucking crazy, man. That is it so is weird. No fucking crazy. crazy. Talk yeah. about bad fucking luck. No, that, that is just the craziest shit ever. I mean, it's like, wow, that's the shit that your ma says that's going to happen with fireworks if you play. Yeah, with and, yeah, and, yeah, whatever, ma. And it you happens. Know, you know, he was uh, probably OK. You set those up like this on a stand. Right. And they're about three feet tall and, and they're 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 a pipe and they and you you light it. And I can't imagine he probably reached over. To get another one and it fucking hit him right in the chest, man. Yeah. Yeah. What, what an idiot. They said, said, no, no. They said right the, pipe, the pipe fell over and he went oh. to go stand it up. And as he went to stand it up, the fucker went off in his chest. Wow. And fucking See? blew up in his chest. It killed him. I mean, good and proper. It yeah, fucking okay. killed him. All right. All right. He was trying to pick it up wrong. And, and yeah. Poof. And it shot him right in the chest. Yeah. It's like standing in front of the fucking uh, fucking uh, uh, guy. What do they a call bazooka. that? A, a, a rocket propelled fucking grenade. You yeah, know? Bazooka. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. There was no getting around that. That was going to kill him. And it did. Killed him. Yeah. And, the, and he did it at his coach, at the goalie coach's house. Uh -huh. So imagine the fucking heartache that is. That's yeah. not going to go very well. You lost my uh, star. Bet, you killed my I star. Bet they, I bet they don't do fireworks anymore. They ain't going to fuck with no fireworks. Spend that money on a barbecue instead. Hey, you think 10 years from now it'll be a running joke? It'll that be, we say no fireworks for 4th yeah, of July? It'll be explosive. Yeah. Oh, probably. You never know. I mean, that's so tragic. I, I, I just feel bad. Make jokes. And jokes are funny, too. And I, I don't know. Too but, soon. You know. It, it, it's too soon, but it's just the tragic way to go. It sucks. It's like, I can't think of a, uh, you know, you're celebrating America and you're doing this and you're trying to set up nice fireworks for your people and shit and whatever. We all did it and you die. <laughs> I mean, well, you didn't die because someone killed you. You didn't die because you were sick. You died because you were lighting a fucking firework. Yeah, that's that's wow. It's, it's I mean, something your mom yeah. tells you about. That's right. the story you hear. They, uh, you, you're gonna put an eye out with that thing with that BB gun. Right. You'll that's put like, an eye out with that BB right. gun. Or, or, or no, 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 no. Buddy, then you shoot your buddy right in the eye with a fucking BB and it fucking blinds. I'm, I'm still waiting for my ears to fall off too because I don't. We wear a, um, well, they have a big fireworks show here uh, every year, so the, one of the boxes fell over. And it had mortars in it. And it was shooting down the street and hitting cars and shit and bushes and people's yards and shit. These were, you know, th these weren't little, these were stadium right. fireworks. You and once know? it starts going, you can't stop it. 
Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no you there's... can't stop it. No way. No. No. There's no kill switch on it. No. no. Don't get in front of it. Don't get in front of it. Don't try to stop it. Let it, it, it just let it course. go. Let it, <laughs> let it, let it you're like him, and you reach over, and you turn it back over, and you're standing right, right. over it. Yeah, no, not no. thinking it's going to hurt you. It's going to fucking hurt your ass. You if know it what? Hits you square in the chest. You know what blows my mind too? Free ride is I've knocked those things over and I've picked them up myself before. Yeah. And and it, 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 with with like the dumb being drunk, fucking light and fireworks stupidness, you know. And I agree. Uh, I, I could have died. I could have died. And that's crazy, you know. It's like don't fuck with fireworks, kids. Don't fuck. With you know, well, so, the, you know, yeah. you learn by your mistakes, and that's how most he people learn. Nothing. He's not learning nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, he's done. He's, you know, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> oh, that's the, the hockey player. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, he, he's yeah, dead. He, yeah. But, but that's most not people, a story he'll be able to tell his kids. Right. No, most <laughs> people learn, and yeah. you know, I've had firecrackers go off in my hand before. When I was a kid, yeah. so. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, 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 had it too. I've never had anything more than a fire. I've never, you know, like an M eighty or something. But I've had, you know, a fire. Well, dude, I've had an M eighty before. I had, I lit that fucker and it went, and I barely got it out of my hand, dude. And it blew up about a foot away from my hand. I mean, God, boom, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 How many? How many of I, us? We were, we were having a, a bottle rocket fight. And it was down at the park, and we we're all fucking shooting bottle rockets at each other and shit. We're all fucked up high, fucking shooting bottle rockets at each other, hiding behind trees and shit. And I fired one. I went, and it took off, man. And it shot across the park. It did a loop de loop and shit, did one of the twists out, and it blew up right by this tree. But this guy stuck his head out just at that time that it blew up and it lit up his whole face. Right. I said, son of a bitch. He said, I quit, man. I quit. That was too close, man. I am a dude. dude I I did that, that before, That was Gene too. Donahue. That was Gene Donahue. I was in Louisiana, right? And and this kid, <laughs> this kid was, I, I was in a trailer, you know, a old mosquito-ridden fucking trailer. So, uh, this kid, you know, I'm sleeping because I worked in the oil fields all fucking night, you know, all day. And then fucking, right. he's throwing these fireworks underneath my trailer, right? right? And so the next fucking night, man, the next day, I, I get my bottle rocket and I put it in my old beer can. And and I seen him. I seen him coming. He's a little kid. He cut my grass and shit. But I lit that motherfucker and I pointed it. <laughs> right between his fucking eyes man and then it hit the ground and then pow you know uh, right but he had a mark he had a mark right there and dude, dude i was scared shitless his daddy was going to come after me but i got lucky on that i, I could have put out his eye yeah you could have i got in trouble one time and, and he was a long ways away in the dark i shot it at a shadow yeah. Very rarely you hit a target with that fucking. You know, you're like you, you do, you do. You're like the Jerry Garcia of storytelling. It, it, it never it, ends. It just doesn't like. It's like, and <laughs> and, 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 and then, and then. <laughs> It's like the band that didn't remember how to end a song. Grand Funk Railroad, The Grateful Dead. They never did learn how to end a song. They just kept playing. Closer to their home. And then... Yeah. I'm getting closer. I didn't didn't notice. I didn't didn't notice. And then... Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just fucking with you. But what I was going to say is is I got trouble once by my mom and by the cops because we lived... uh, across the street from a Dairy Queen. And I don't know, I just decided to fucking start shooting bottle rockets at people and standing in line. I thought it was funny. Oh, great, great kid. Yeah. Good kid. And, and it was it was pretty fun for about 18, 20 minutes. And then, and then my <laughs> night was over. So, um, <laughs> you know. Did you get your I, ass with? 
I just wanted to see if the bigger lady could move quickly. Yeah. Did yeah. she? Oh, fuck. Did she haul she, ass she, over there to whip her like, she, Jackie joined her cursing and shit. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was terrible. It was, it was, it was abominable. You know, but we're all, we all do dumbass shit when we're young and stoned. You know? Oh, hell yeah. Hell to the well, yeah. Well, I now you drive, we were driving in this, um, in this uh, strip mall. And we were driving through because it was the turnaround for up on Lindbergh Avenue where we did our cruising. Right. And they would turn around and there we'd, we'd go back up the other way on, on uh, the road. And uh, we'd come around there and I dropped a M80. Boom. And there was a bunch of people waiting in line to get in the theater. Right. And it scared the shit out of everybody. Well, today that would have been a terrorist attack. Oh, sure. I, would have, I could have been arrested. Oh, it was sure. loud, man. And when, especially in those buildings, you go boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, boom. People how, jump three fucking feet, man, in the air. How many times <laughs> had you? How many times have you dropped cherry bombs in the bathroom, the, the, the lavatory? <laughs> I've only done it once, and it didn't work. No. And I said, "Fuck it." It, it clogged the fucking toilet. They had the yeah. janitor in there. He was all pissed off for a week after that. He had to get yeah, in there. Yeah, that I've done. We I haven't done it. I got to say, I, I chickened out every time. But I knew people that did M80s, cherry bombs, whatever. And same thing. It just made the janitor mad. And then we couldn't smoke in there that week. You know, and. Now, we did it, throw it, uh, M80s in a pool. Yeah. Now, that's, that's cool. Where it just blows that yeah. water up out of the fucking <laughs> Out of the pool and shit, it looks like a bomb. Remember head. that those days when you go? I, I used to go to this, you know, because you go to a re, uh, uh, a bathroom, a uh, restroom that's got, you know, uh, it's it's for like smokers and shit. Uh, and, and then and, and then you go in there and you smell it, man. You go, it, it hits you right in the face, you know. Right. It makes you want to have a cigarette right then and there. Right then and there. The toilet seat. Yeah. And that takes that me back to the smells, the smells yeah. of the of the of the restroom that's all smoky. I know, man. Yeah, well, the the air or the toilet seat. The, the, the smoke. Oh, okay. I remember like working in the bars and stuff in the eighties and nineties, and at the end of the night, whatever. And then you come I back the next morning, and you come back the next morning. It's like, what the fuck is that smell? You know, and it was stale beer yeah. and sick. You know, yeah, I after, used to get up in the morning and I'd I'd smell my shirt and go, "Oh fuck, I smoked way too much last." But in actuality, it was the bar that was all over me. It's just like you're humans are magnets when it comes to smell of smoke. My mm-hmm. ex wife used to wear wear cinnabar, and she smoked. Now, whenever I smell somebody with cinnabar on, I want to throw up. Mm-hmm. But seriously, folks, but seriously, you know. <laughs> Oh, remember disgusting. remember those clove cigarettes, man? Yeah, oh, I, yeah. Clove yeah. cigarettes. I, I was into those for a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, those uh, were disgusting. The worst. I like those. I was... I was oh, in, they stunk like cat piss. But see, here's my thing. is I'm like... It, it's weird. Like, some people like beer. Some people like... I fucking like cigars. I like pot. I like tobacco. I, I, I like smoking. I'm, I know I'm going to die because of it one day. But that's my thing is I like smoking. So I tried to close. I always try new things, you know, and see it. Right. And it, it's it's uh, I'm not suggesting anybody become uh, a, a smoking connoisseur because it's no, like you're chocolate just, uh, to me. It's, it's yeah. like my chocolate. It's my weakness. Well, everybody has pussy, a vice, you know, everybody's yeah. got a vice. I mean, you think yeah. about it. Even Miami. Yeah. Well, Miami's got vice. Everybody's yeah. got vice. Everybody's got their habits. Everybody eats wrong. Everybody yeah. drinks too much. Everybody smokes weed. Everybody smokes cigarettes. But you know, everybody everybody likes sex. Everybody's addicted to porn. Uh, everybody has their own vice. You just I mean, no, Friday night. That's my Saturday afternoon. Oh, all right. <laughs> right. You know, everybody is addicted. Everybody's addicted to something. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
<laughs> Where'd you go, man? Oh, it ain't cool. You hide behind. You're, yeah, you hide behind the rock, man. You was hide behind the fuck. <laughs> Tattoo is this one right here. Superman. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> I got them all over, but I want to uh, get a new tattoo. But I'm I don't know what Hulk. to get. I'm getting Hulk Hogan on this one. So it could be Superman and the Hulk. I, I think I'm gonna get that KGF Rocks bumper sticker yeah. on my chest. Yeah, on That's my chest. Yeah, that'd be cool. I got the King Guido tattoo right here. No, you gotta get that sticker on your stamp tramp. Tramp stamp there. You gotta you gotta put that down there for the license plate, brother. Here what was your first tattoo ever? Mine was this one right up here. Nope, not that wrong uh, wrong arm. <laughs> this one. Here. My, I've only I got never, the one. I never got one because I didn't want to be identified by by that. See I didn't want friends? the police to take pictures of a fucking tattoo and be able to identify you with it. I, I didn't think shit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go kill nobody and fucking do anything illegal. So what do I give a shit? Well, they do that for common jaywalk and take pictures of them. Take, them, they, take pictures of them. I, I post them yeah. on the internet. Here's here's my fucking uh, military one right there. See? Boom. Well, I know, but if it's in the police records, then it's in the police records, brother. That's it. What your DNA? Once that gets in there, don't fucking matter how many tattoos you have. Yeah, it don't matter. Not anymore. Well, they're they, busting people. they can identify they're, you more yeah. on that. I mean, they're especially busting. if you're tattooed all over your face and you got full sleeves and, and they wanna they wanna know. They wanna yeah. know it don't yeah. matter anymore. That don't matter. No, no yeah. DNA, DNA is the way they're going you now. A, you they're got a 13 guys. on your neck, you know, you got a 13, an MS 13 over here and a and a swastika right here. They we wanna know. About. Don't Those tell me tattoo. That's different. That's that's gang tattoo and racist tattoos. Okay, that's different. My fucking tattoos are not. They're just shit that means something to me. You know. Well, I know, you know I know, so but they still like, they can still identify you through that. So I don't. I never got one on account of because also also it's like a comic book. Okay, it gets old after a while. I just soon throw the comic book away. Because I've already seen that fucking picture. Yeah, but I tell you what, I struggled with depression for a while. And every time, this is the, listen to me, it's God's honest truth. Anytime I felt like doing something hurt myself or uh, I'm not good enough to be here ever, I'd go get a tattoo. Okay. Now, that's what the tattoo I've got was when I was depressed at some point. I haven't gotten one in almost four years. So that to me is a good sign. Oh yeah, that's a great. Uh, that's great. You know, and that's, that's over awesome. twenty years. You know, you know, and if, so. if you think about it, if you think about it, it's like, yeah, okay, you get your Playboy magazine. You looked at it once, okay, ding, gone. Yeah. You know, I but, mean, but I, I wouldn't not, put it on me for a, be a permanent. But uh, that's just for getting uh, a tattoo. For getting a tattoo. Stamp. You know, uh, uh, means something to me. All of them, like this so one here. Think. This one here. Is is my American Eagle with all my kids' names in it? You know, so to me, that's never going to go out of style. Okay, it's my country and my kids. I'm never going to get bored with that. You know? Family and kids. And, I mean, right, family you know, and country. And it's when you get stupid things that are like, oh, I'm just to get a tattoo. Don't get a tattoo just to get one. You know, because then you're right. You're going to be bored with it in a few years or whatever. 
But if they have meat, and like I said, every time I felt like pe- a shit and hurt myself or doing whatever, by the way, I've never hurt myself. I'm just saying that, you know, uh, I'd go get a tattoo because it was a little painful and a little exciting at the same time. And, you know, now it's there forever. Bam. I remember that time in my life, you know, I don't have to go back there. now. So it, it's a weird, it's a weird, I know it's a weird thing, but everybody's got a vice you know and everybody's got a vice sure i didn't get you know a lot of my tattoos till my 30s and 40s so you know i didn't same way same way i didn't want to be identified and i didn't come want to show the coochie again mommy go ahead come here show, want... show the coochie again so i remember my 20s and early 30s nobody wanted to you know um Hire you if you had sleep. Right? Your coochie. Coochie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways. Okay, mom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. You know that. <laughs> yeah, but it's tasty. You <laughs> <laughs> just figured it out. <laughs> Uh, oh god help us <laughs> well there goes our fucking pg rating uh, right there <laughs> uh, he hasn't had a pg rating since the day we started so, I'm, a, I'm a slut you know might take us to x-rated might get kicked off the network but you know what uh, i was listening to old shows the other day and and this is the funny part is i used to be the one that was the making the music anybody? Oh, you, know, <laughs> you, you know, yeah, okay. you're being viewed in China right now. They're watching us in China. You yeah. know that, right? They are on, they on are. the one network that they have there. Yeah, on um, China One. Really? China yeah, one. they're watching us. They're saying these guys are crazy motherfuckers. Time to invade. It's time to invade. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> So where did Guido go? Did he leave? Did yeah, he, leave? He, he, he took. He, he, you, you embarrassed him, man. Yeah, you embarrassed him. He, he left. No, man. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that a sweet? Uh, isn't that some some sweet Asian uh, uh, honey? Now, now let's not go there, okay? Uh, cereal, cereal. Let's. Is there anything yeah, else we got to talk that's about? Some, that's some yeah. sweet Asian. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you yeah, yeah. Know, and, uh, and you ain't, you ain't getting none. Uh, uh, see my, see my, oh, that's my best. Fried lice. <laughs> my Ozzy coasters. Look at that one. That's, that's, uh, what's that one there? Everybody know? Blizzard of Oz. Blizzard of Oz. All right. How about that one? Raise it. Oh, shit. I can't see it. I can't, I see, can't it. see it. Uh, to, the, to, the, to your other side. I can't. Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, there you uh, go. Ozfest. Uh, that's uh, Diary of a Madman. The Diary of a Madman. Yeah, that's I it. wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that. You're, you're way beyond past my time, my brother. I got a whole set of coasters there of Ozzy and shit. Oh, look oh, oh. over here. I got, I got, I got uh, my little Elvis. Oh, uh, you gonna wear that all day tomorrow for his it's birthday? Kind of, it's a little music box. Oh, do oh. that. That's cool. This, I got all kinds of groovy stuff. Look at, I got. Look at this clock. Oh, wrong way. See that clock? That's a yeah. Clock. Ding 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 ding. Yeah, they suck. Yeah, yeah, they do. But they get you up because they're annoying. They're, they're yeah, annoying. but boy, they, it's hard to sleep sometimes because they go tap, 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 tap. They do. And it gets louder too when you're trying to sleep, and it just keeps getting louder, louder, louder. louder. Tick tock, yeah. tick tock, tick tock. You can hear it inside. You can. They're hear. loud. They are, and there sometimes that gets people but, to go to sleep. It, 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 some people get used yeah. to that. That's how yeah. they fall asleep. They do. Yeah, I, I that's hate, true. 
I, I was hate, at I one hate. point, but I, I I outgrew that. I I used to have one when I was a kid. Yes. Yeah, they, they were cool. They were cool, man. They were like the cool way to wait. Well, they were the only way to wake up back when you guys were in school and shit. You That's know, right. And you wind it up. You wind it up. You wind it up. You wind. It. In the daytime, you can't hear it go tick tock, tick tock. When all the lights are out and you're laying in your fucking bed, oh my god, you can hear it loud as hell. So I, yeah, I, I used to do it, and and then I I really got annoying. But uh, uh, that's yeah. why I was glad they came out with the digital ones. Remember the ones right. that would go click, and the no, fucking yeah, I love those ones. I had uh, my mom had one that it just spun, like each click, yeah, like flapped, like a number. Flap. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. flaps, yeah, the flap yeah. one, yeah, yeah, the flap ones, and, yeah, it's like the one on um, what's his name, uh. Uh, uh, Bill Murray in um, uh, Groundhog Day. Groundhog. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. The click. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> no man. Yeah, I got you, babe. Oh, that's a great song. No, it's not. That's a terrible song. Yeah, that's a fucking stupid <laughs> it's, song. It's cold outside. <laughs> yeah. Well, would you do it if you could live every day over again for say? It, not forever, but like a week, and then yeah. it, it would never give you any recourse. You know, wouldn't like change your life. But would you do it? I, I do. Yeah. It. You know, I'd like you it. would never get you'd never get in trouble for anything you did. You know, right? So you go and slap somebody. You can go and like shave off fucking uh, bootlickers' uh, handlebar mustache. It, it, no. it would all and, have to be. It would all have to be one day, and it'd have to be a, in a dream that that you would do that and it, it couldn't happen in real life there's no that's not no, even a feasible, that's the whole idea though it's yeah you know, like, it's not even feasible uh it, it it's a dream it had to be a dream i like the phase when he goes through committing suicide right. he, fucking, he, he drops the fucking radio and oh <laughs> oh, oh will ferrell what was will ferrell's best movie you, uh that you liked will ferrell man because he sucks he does but not. I didn't but, like I, uh, big uh, Step Brothers. Oh, that Step was Brothers. his best. Step Brothers, that was his best. best. That but was his also, best. That, uh, that made me uh, actually laugh. No, what was that punch other me. movie? Punch me! You, I know you want to punch me right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> was it old school? I liked old school when old he school was, was okay. When he was running, he was Frank the Tank, and he was running through the. The street streaking and there was nobody behind him. <laughs> yeah. that, that was pretty funny. But Will he was Ferrell, pretty much a dork in that one uh, superstar. Remember superstar? Yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah, that was. One. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> smell it. That, that was yeah. cute. That, that was a cute movie, though. I also like Night at the Roxbury. He goes, did you break the window? Yeah. Yeah, when he was, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, there was he's some pretty some good ones. Funny. I mean, you know, he's done some funny stuff, but I, I find, you know, I couldn't. Uh, Ricky Bobby, I didn't laugh at that yeah. one. Uh, it, it, you know, I tried, I tried to find something funny in it, and it, it just wasn't funny to me. Uh, oh, there's the a couple, cars. Of that, yeah, the race the race cars, cars, yeah, Ricky Bobby, what a moron. I mean, yeah. you know, that, Duvall, that's just dumb. Robert Duvall was in that, um, yeah. He had a good cast. Yeah, he uh, yeah, had a good it, cast, but it just wasn't it, a very good movie. Yeah, it kind of failed, you know. And then his yeah. news reporter one. What's the one? Oh, that's uh, so fucking fun. Anchorman. Anchorman. I didn't yeah. find that funny at all. Oh, I like that. You're, you're, that's just like stupid because that was so funny. I fucking, that movie is one of the only movies that of that time period for me that I can watch over again because during the late nineties, when all those kind of movies are coming out, they all sucked. All the comedies sucked. And right. you know, they lacked the, the the stuff that like the John Hughes and the fucking, you know, National Lampoon stuff were, were, did. But right. I think that one's pretty funny, you know, and uh well you know the eighties for comedy, the eighties for comedy was pretty good. I mean, you had your George Carlin's then, you had your Richard Pryor's then, you know, you had you had the top, top of the, the uh, line. Richard Pryor was around in the 70s, so was uh, Carlin. 
um, uh, 80s, Elvis, yeah, but, or like Ed Murphy. They were still yeah, around. Yeah, Murphy, like the 80s Murphy. was uh, Dan Aykroyd, and uh, Dan Aykroyd, and you had uh, Bill Murray, and you had, um, let's see, who else in the 80s? Um, George uh, Carlin, you had George uh, Carlin. Well, he went through all of them, though. He went through the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. He was, he was being a comedian for a long time. He was on uh, uh, Johnny but Carson. What I, say, what I said was is it was an end of a era. Right. Yeah. In, in the, the 80s there. It was really an end of an era for those well, that, comedians. Wasn't that when Ghostbusters was done? was in the 80s. Yes. But Ghostbusters. There was- there was great comedies, comedians in the '90s. Come on, Norm Macdonald, fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yes. He, uh, Hugh, uh, what's that? Hugh, Hugh guy. What's that guy's name? Um, he, uh, he was a. Uh, he got murdered by his wife. Hugh Jackman was that it? No, uh, Hugh Jackman, Jackman was Wolverine. Um, uh, uh, I don't know who you're talking about, but any. Um, now you maybe Bill. You maybe forget what I was going to say now, bro. <laughs> Who got well, killed by his wife now? I want to know who got killed by his wife. What the fuck was his name? He was a comedian. Sam, Sam Kinison? No, Sam Kinison was funny as shit, though. Uh-huh. That man there was fucking funny. Will Ferrell? He's another yeah. 90s funny guy. Will I Ferrell? Um, Adam Sandler? Another 90s guy. Uh, and all of these guys that we're mentioning came from Saturday Night Live. Sure. But you don't but see that from Saturday Night yeah. Live anymore. Not as much. There's still a few out there, but but the thing of it is, is you also saw come out of uh, out of to- or not talk shows, but comedies, uh, half hour comedy shows like Ray Bar- or uh, Ray Romano, whatever his name is. Everybody loves Raymond. I forget his real name now. Uh, he was a stand up comedian and he was funny. Uh, yeah. I, think, I think everybody loves Raymond. I used to pee my pants watching that show, man. I used to love that show. But then I come to, towards the end there, I could say, God damn, he is stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, He is just dumb. Well, that's how funny. Yeah, yeah. That was his, his, his whole character. He was... You know, way over his head and everything that he did, and and that oh, that yeah. was and he, what's funny he about was, him, including his wife. He was in over his head with his wife because his wife was fucking hot. Sure, sure. I, sure. I, I mean, she was just fantastic. But you see how in the in the show you see how tiny she is compared to the other actors. She's like sure. four foot nothing, and yeah. and these guys are all six foot tall and shit. Especially his brother, oh, you know. Wow. Robert, yeah, but that, yeah. that that came from the '90s. Uh, Tim Allen really came from the '90s. Yeah, you know, Tim Allen. Tim Allen stand up was funny. Uh, my favorite person to come out of the '80s slash '90s, whose stand up is hilarious, is Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Now, yeah. Yeah. If you watch Full House and America's Funniest Home Videos, and you see him, whatever. But if you watch his stand up, he's one of the dirtiest comedians out there. And, and and it's hilarious. It's he's really funny, and you should do yourself a chance and listen to him. Now, like I have a progression of comedy greats, and it goes back to like for me listening to my my dad's old records from the seventies. So I grew up listening to George Carlin, Richard Pryor, um, Cheech and Chong, and stuff like that. Red Fox. So to and I had the Red Fox uh, records and everything. That man is funny. Watching oh, yeah, him no on Temper Son is not how funny he is, okay? No, not even close. He's no, hilarious. Right, right. And you, you should have listen Bill to them. Did you? Did you? Bill yeah, Cosby? I, I don't think my dad had any Bill Cosby ones. He liked the raunchy stuff, you know? So I, you know, so he was into, like, the, the ones that swore and all that. He wouldn't have been into Bill Cosby, you know? Richard Pryor. Uh, Richard, Richard Pryor. Pryor. And George Carlin and, and, George Carlin and um, definitely John, definitely Cheech and John. You know that was a uh, George Carlin's uh, um, um, riff uh, gig about the uh, uh, seven words you can't say, right? On radio shit, and television, fuck, motherfucker, cunt, shit, faggot, bump, with this, these <laughs> words you can't say. He's good at it, he's good at it. He invented that a long time ago, and he. he he stirred up a, a whole shitload of controversy with the, oh, yeah. the uh, Fed rallies. He had to take it to court. Wow. They sued him and, and took him off and shit for this. And then he fought for the next coming generation to be able to free express their, you know, 
joke. So he was the beginning. He was the guy who's the First Amendment he stood for. Yeah, but now he would be he would devastated be dead. by the. He'd be, uh, he'd be canceled by now. Yeah, he'd, he'd be, be canceled. canceled. He saw the. Definitely. He saw it coming. He saw it coming. He did. He, he saw, knew. He, he saw it all of us. He warned us all. Oh, George Carlin was such a smart no, he, man. He's responsible. He he's responsible funny. for changing the law. Yeah, but no, that's not the point we're making. The point is today, George Carlin and Richard Pryor would never, ever get a TV show, let alone go on tour today. Right. They'd get canceled, man. They'd get canceled. Because you, you know why? Because they had a free think and open mind. Yeah, they're well, not allowed to have I mean, that in Howard Howard Stern also contributed to the freedom of uh yeah, um, but now Howard yeah, Stern yeah. is a big ass kissing, boot licking fucking Well, I sausage. understand that, but his his monologues and his his sure. guests are all great. Was, you know, he's my, he's got the shit, you know, he's got the shit and and, and you know, he's got a good rapport with the guests and he's he's intelligent he asks the right question he's sure. good he's really good but now he's not to me the best he used to be because when he was I, i'm not saying you have to be racist and all this other stuff but he's now not the say anything guy anymore he's just like the fucking uh um what do you call it uh ed, ed mcmahon or something I know, I know but he changed he changed with the times but uh, and, and, and he's completely different than Fart Man. And back in the day, he, he's he's and not and doing butt toss rings. He might do that. I don't know. He does whatever he wants. You know, having less which, which is freedom of com comedy, and that's partly because of George Carlin and of course himself. He got kicked out of here and here, but his ratings were so high, he he had to you know get another job somewhere. You know, yeah, yeah. There was no no keeping him down. His ratings were too high. Yeah, everybody probably. wanted to make a little money. Hey, fuck me. So they had to hire Howard Stern with his dirty, filthy mouth, and then and and they helped stand up for some of the laws that George Carlin actually had changed. What was it? WNBC. WNBC. I like the one where he gets the gal off on the speaker. Yeah. Wasn't that Paul Giamatti in that one too? Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. but his ratings got him kept. <laughs> yeah. He told. He you told know? him. He said. He says. He's up. What do you mean he's up? He's up big. He's up big. <laughs> he comes. To Everybody's knock on listening the, to him. Everybody's he, listening to him just to see what he's going to say gonna next. Say next. Yeah, they hate him, but they want to hear what he's got to say next. And, and me living so close to New York City, we used to get him all the time, even before he. Oh, was I was in D.C. Uh, I lived in D.C. when he started. Yeah, right, right. I mean, when I he went to New York, to he went to every every Saturday night. We would listen to him, and this was before he had the TV shows and everything. You know, yeah, and right. he was to me a, a genius and. Uh, Part of the reason I went into radio was because of him, you know, and yeah. uh, See, and it gives yeah. us the freedom to say "fuck you" and and eat my, eat my butt and shit, you know, it, it, and you know, it you gives us that freedom. You don't want to eat. Rated. I had swamp. You know, ass. you got swamp head. Swamp ass. He said, "Eat my butt." Uh, no, I had swamp ass. I, I got swamp ass. I gotta eat my butt. I I can say that, but I can be true too. Which is a, it's a, it's a good thing. Do you eat? I think. Do you eat? Because uh, fuck butt. them, and I think I should be able to talk the way I talk. So, because fuck them, I could yeah. actually talk like a sailor. I know how to talk like a sailor. Do you? I know. I talk like ride knows how to talk like a sailor. I could talk like a sailor if I wanted to. He keeps hey. it going. Uh, I'm yo, yo, I'm yo, bottle of rum for me. La, 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 la. Shit, fuck. Cocksucker, pussy, jets. <laughs> you can't say those seven words. My dad told me the only word that I can never say is cunt. 
and cunt was in there too. There were seven words. Yes. And that's a word that well, you you get in a fight with your wife and you call her the C word. Yeah. You, you better hide all the knives and anything else because you're fucking getting hurt, dude. Ooh. You're getting hurt. Maybe not you, because your wife doesn't maybe know what the, that word is. I don't know. No. But free ride, if you call it come on, it's keep whatever you go, know, uh, uh, the C word. It, what would happen? It's, it's good to have a woman that you got to keep that in, in, not understand a lot of the. Yes. Uh, it's no. cool. It's cool. If I called my Mexican Irish wife the C word, she would probably stick me with one of the, the fucking meat skewers in the cabinet. The seven words you can't say on television radio. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, uh, and tits. Yep. That's the original. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the original one. So but, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and I remember, tits. I remember in like... So in, you can thank him for being able to say that right now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, George. Gee, thanks, Part George. Every, absolutely. But if you want to really push that issue, you can say Lenny Bruce was truly... Oh, one. yeah. Oh, yeah. hell yes. Yeah, heroin uh, killed that man too, way yeah. too soon. Heroin killed, killed that him. man. The FCC killed that man so they didn't have to fucking censor his shit. Yeah, yeah. Who, who, who was the guy that said, uh, uh, Old Mother Hubbard and... Uh, oh, yeah, um, Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah, and Bruce. Yeah, and, and Bruce. Um... Uh, Lenny Bruce, yeah, Lenny he Bruce, just, yeah, he just said but, that, yeah. but he got, yeah, he got beat down by the police, but the, you know, with the, his language on there, right, he got arrested right. several times for public indecency, see, he was arrested see? several times, and then, just, and then George Carlin changed all that, man, yeah, it just like, uh, Jim Morrison taking his wee-wee out. Yeah. Well, no, that's different. That's the exposure, and they they can't. You you ain't allowed to do that yet. That ain't that ain't part of the deal. I want sometimes the wee wee needs to come out. And what not about a, uh, Michael Jackson? Stage. He brought his booby out with the ornament on it. That was Janet Jackson, by the way. Janet Jackson. I think they're one and the same, but okay. Do you think that was an accident or was that planned? That was planned. Why? That was Michael planned. Jackson? Where, where, where uh, Janet Jackson got her boobs exposed. I think it was planned. You think it was planned? On national yeah. TV for the Super yeah. Bowl. Yeah. Radiant's Bonanza. I've talked about forever. If it's good. Like Jim Morrison said, there's no such thing as, as bad publicity. You know? That's like, right. That's for right. For time period. And that's how it was, you know? Get your name right. in the news. There was no social media to get your shit in there, so you had to get in the actual news. She, she, had, had, a, she had a a nipple um, uh, fucking design uh, yeah. carved uh, on a little brass thing. It was planned. Sure. Yeah. She had a pasty on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a pasty, yeah. The nipple was in the hole, but it, it, was, it, it, it had like... Flower swigglies around it. Nice. It was a nice little gold swiggly thing. That's fucking Merv the perv over there. Oh yeah, little swigglies. Did you freeze frame it to get a good look at it? I think I might have. I don't remember. It's been a long time ago. Uh, you know, time flies, man. Yeah. I th I think Guido was in just getting out of diapers or, or grade school when that happened. What, what when what happened? When the uh, my, Janet, Janet Jackson. Jackson. No, that was two thousand and four. I, I think it had, was. I already had three kids by then. Oh. <laughs> my my fucking oldest kid's gonna be thirty soon. Well, I guess it seems longer time ago. It look it sounds like it was something in the nineties. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't read... done much since. No. Huh? No. I thought it flew by quicker than that. I forgot there was a tens too, and the, the tens, ones dude, just fucking skip a decade and shit. I know we're almost thirty years into this shit, into yeah. the two thousands. Yeah. Almost thirty years into the two thousands, brother. It, yeah, I, I was right. It, it was two thousand four. It was two thousand four. Yeah. yeah, I already had three kids by then. 
Yeah. Yeah. It was 2004 when that happened. And I still had one more to go. And ja and and Justin Timberlake apologized. He did. To Janet Jackson. Like the li good right, little Tennessee right. it is. But do you think it was still planned? It was all bullshit, and then Absolutely. he apologized to make it look sure. like it wasn't planned. Absolutely, yeah. right, right. It's like right. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Exactly, same kind of thing. Yeah, right. just about. You gotta Close. Fix, you got to you got to get your your handlers in there to fix the problem before, and then and then you know, like it disappeared from the news after a little bit because. He no, apologized. Got, yeah. Yeah. So it was swept away. Now it wasn't as uh, um, controversial anymore. You know. Right. After so, the apology went through. Right. Right. But now that doesn't happen too often today. You know, with real time people and this and that. You know, that was no accident. You know, with people with their own videos and getting out there with their cameras, you got no privacy. None. You know, That's and true. I don't care if you think you're know, walking down the street, they record your ass. Fuck, when you go through each uh, um, toll booth here in New York, you get your, your car take 7,000 pictures of so they can send you a toll. They can see you in there. They know where you are at all fucking times. It's like crazy. You know, it's uh, we are chipping your arm. No, you got a fucking phone attached to your. That's the chip right there. Uh, you know, that's they can listen to everything. They listen to this podcast every week because they listen to our phones. You know, they, they, yeah, they don't want to. Um, uh, they don't know what we're going to say next, man. Oh man, don't, they don't. They, they don't. don't, we they, don't, don't even, know what, they don't know what Lu Slick Lucifer over there is going to say. You know. No. Yeah. You never know what I'm going to say. Hell no. That's who you are, Johnny Wad over there. Johnny Wad. Yeah. I just I just tell you like it is, man. Tell it like it is. That was my little Aaron Neville. No, it's gotta be like tell it like it is. that's a little Aaron Neville right there. Aaron Neville. No, that's good. Little, that's pretty good. A little Aaron Neville. I, I yeah. saw him in concert, man. The yeah. big flat the big fat black ladies loved him, boy. Mm -hmm. They loved him, boy. Woo. Oh, yeah. They loved me when I was a dancer, too. Yeah, I was at security at his show. He did a show. I mean, some chick, some big black chick, man, attacked me, man. I go, ah, I and she got up on stage, and I grabbed her, and I pulled her. I said, now, sweetheart, you can't be up there. You can't get up on the stage. Oh, I said, God damn it. And he's up there fucking singing. He'd be like, he'd be like <laughs> he's, he's dead now, though. That's how he's he talks. Dead. He talks like yeah. that. He's like, thank, he's you very much. thank you very much. He was half much. dead then. He was half dead then. A lot of makeup. He looked like I a I don't death. have much, but I know I love you. That's a good song, though. Yeah. With, uh, Aaron, uh, isn't Aaron Neville dead? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That was for yeah, Five of Those Words. We, we did that song on Five of Those Words album. Maybe this is a different guy. Ooh, Aaron Neville? Yeah. He did, a good, he did a good song with uh, Linda Ronstadt. Really no, good. he's still around. He's yeah, still around. Linda Ronstadt, he did. He did, yeah. That, that, well, he, you know, uh, he went to, he was in prison for a long time. He he walked in on his wife and uh, and her lover uh, fucking. He killed and, him. Uh, he killed them both and uh, went to prison, but it was kind of a, uh, he, he didn't get too much time, but he got a lot yeah. of time. You get yeah. fuck out of my bed. What are you doing there? Get out of my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh, your ass, get out of my bed. That's, that's the best I could do, you know, and uh, can you imagine that? I got a gun on you, motherfucker. I'm gonna shoot your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot your nigga ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say that now. Stop that. <laughs> well, that's the way he would say it. Yeah, man. That's why I'm just using what he would say. I mean, I'm not saying it myself. It's not like I'm, you know, it's a disclaimer. We need to put a disclaimer on this show, dude. <laughs> listen, listen. Violent several codes. I don't know much, but I know I love her. So I'm a
<laughs> That's pretty good, Derek Lido. That's pretty good. Yes. I like yeah. it. Oh, he that talks. was a great invitation. That was a great invitation. Sometimes yeah. I got them. Sometimes I don't. It depends. It all depends <laughs> on how good the smoke is. So you know. I know. I know, brother. The I guy know. At, at the party where you get me high and I fucking become Eddie Murphy or or somebody. Dan, right. Even Danny DeVito. You know. Uh, get me drunk. I want to fuck your old lady and beat your face in. But get me stoned. <laughs> And and I want to do some comedy. You know, it's a big yeah. difference. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't drink. Uh, no, I can't. I, uh, no, no, I, I can't either. I get stupid. That's good. You don't drink. I don't like drunks anyway. Yeah. I don't. I don't drink. I have a beer now and then. I think the last time I had a beer was a month ago, maybe, and, I, and it was one yeah. beer. You know, and then six months prior to that, you know. Right. I can. I can go on an island without. Fucking alcohol. I, I think about me that. though. Well, I could too. I can, but, I, I can go have a beer, but I know when to say that's it, I'm done. But you gotta understand from the time I was 21 to the time I was 35, I worked in the bar industry and never paid for my drinks. So it well, was drink fest. That's the way it was for me too yeah. for a yeah. long time. Yeah. When I was DJing, I drank free. The groom would bring me oh, yeah. a drink, the fucking bride's father would bring oh, yeah. me a drink. No, you know, here you go, man. Here you go. I only I only drank because of peer pressure. That's the only reason why I didn't. I didn't drink behind the in in the bathroom or or you know sneaking drinks and shit. I didn't do that. I was a I was a peer pressure kind of social drinker. You know, I just drank until I passed out the bar that I managed and woke up when the uh, lady that cleaned the bar at seven a.m. came in and found me passed out on the bar floor oh. and uh, would wake me up and oh, froze. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it, good old days. I was fucking, you know, bad. And then so I, how often did that happen? Oh God, two, three times a week. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that was, when you got a problem. Yeah, there was other things involved in it. There was uh, a certain narcotic that made me like impervious to from getting drunk. I never got drunk because the, you that's know, cocaine. That's it. All that cocaine. The one. That's the stuff. <laughs> And uh, so I had to kick that habit to kick the drinking habit because once I kicked that drinking, I started getting drunk differently. You know what I mean? I wasn't like, it was like, I, oh my God, I'm drunk. Where when I was drugging it up, I didn't feel the drunkness. You know, right. I never, you know it was crazy. It was like the leveler. It was sucking, cucking nuts. I drink a bottle of Jack Daniels like an idiot. And now I got, I got fucking, uh, you know, problems with my... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, pancreas, probably because of drinking, you know. So, <laughs> right, right. Well, that's sword, that's the thing. I, oh, you, you know, don't, never, you don't know for sure. You just, you just saying probably have problems there, but you don't know for sure. Uh, was there a difference between beer and hard alcohol with you, Guido? Uh, no, I drank just hard alcohol. I never really drank beer. Uh, it was either mixed drink or shots. That was it. I yeah. did beer if that's all there was. I was at a party and that's all there was. Then I would have to drink beer. But I never got drunk off of beer because I didn't like it. I never. I still don't. You know. I but don't like beer much myself. You give me a, a fucking. No, sometimes it would. Sometimes it would be like shit. I had I had a beer and man that one down good. You know. Yeah, I've never and had. Then, and then you have another one, and it was even better. You know, we're, it's just we're going to have to. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to uh, take this conversation on to next week, because guys, we're out of time. Wow. We got about a minute left. We ate up the rest of that time, and we'll have to continue this next week. Y'all out there listening and checking this out, uh, come and uh, check out all of our shows, and please subscribe to KGFRocks.com on YouTube. And everywhere else you find us, okay? So check it out. All right, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the program. You guys, got anything else? Not really. No. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Where, where, where do you go? Happy days. Wow, that ass knocked something over. Where did y'all go? Well, I don't know. Where'd you go? All right. We got to get out of here. We're done. Yeah, we're done. Thanks for, thanks for watching. You guys have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Adios. This is Street Ride Bye. Six. See ya. Bye. Bye, Bob. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.
Everybody say listen bye. To what I say. Uh, listen. Listen, listen. Listen to what I say. You maybe not hear it, but you gotta listen. Oh, nice. Uh, dinner is served. Are we done? Uh, what, so I can turn this camera Yeah, on. we're done. We're done. Okay. We're done? We're done. Are we off now? Yeah, yeah. we're off. We're done. We're done. It says it's still recording on my thing. Oh, yeah. I thought I... I don't know. <laughs> I actually thought I stopped.